emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Fester here from eModels. And what have we got for you today? We have got the God End stainless steel FF bolt, a six millimeter set of four folks. And the code for this is GHFFM6. What are they, I hear you asking? Well, they are a flat file, basically. And these are the stainless steel variant. And what you do is you use these along with some goddamn tapes. And you can use these to make your own sanders, folks. So you'll have a looky loop. You get a set of four in there. So we'll just pop the packaging to one side and show you what we get. And what these are is these are the stainless steel flat files. Super, super strong. But they allow you to get in all the crooks and nannies when you're doing your sanding, folks. And what I tend to do with mine is I tend to put a strip each side of the appropriate grit of sandpaper I'm doing. And then I can literally just use the flat surface each time I do it. I tend not to use the sides on mine, but you can wrap your paper all the way around if you choose to do so. So you get a set of four of these in there, beautifully machined, beautifully made. So we'll start by making up a few of the uh, sanding strips. The first thing I tend to do is I tend to put a bit to be a tape around the top, just so that I can mark these up with what grit paper I'm putting on them. So that'll be my first point of call. Just apply it to the surface, wrap it around, and then you can use a biro on it to write down exactly what grit paper you've got on there. So I'll just trim that nice and flush with me knife. Like so. And then we can start marking out what sanding paper we're putting on there. Now the paper I am using is going to be from the God End set A. And it is the Cami paper. Which is just off to my left. So I'll grab a packet of that. And this is the God End assortment here. It's GHKY4A. And there's a set of four sheets in here, ranging from a 240, a 400, a 600, and an 800 grit in there. And these are absolutely perfect for doing your little sanders with. So we'll just take out a 240 on that because that's the size I'm going to be making today. So we'll just grab a sheet of that, like so. Just put them to one side. What I'm going to use to make them, I hear you ask, I am going to be using my God Hand Cutter. But this bad boy is what I'm going to be using, the amazing cutter. I'm going to be using that to cut these to fit the sandpapers. So I'm going to have that just to one side. And then to apply the sandpaper, I'm going to be using the God Hand tape, and this is GHDST6, and these are the big reels of tape that you get. Now look at the size of that reel. There's an awful lot of tape on there for your money, folks. So we'll just open that up, and we'll use some of that to make a sanding stick. Now I tend to sit and make these in bulk, but obviously for demonstration purposes I'll do the one today. Just put that to one side and take the protective film. I tend to keep the tape itself in the packet in between uses. Purely and simply it stops all the fluff and dirt and detritus sticking to the side of it, folks. But you don't want that, do you? Right, let's grab a sheet of this. And we want it to be a six millimetres. Okay. If you remember rightly on this, it's got a gauge on the side there that gives you the size. So I'll just open it up, like so. And then you want six millimetres, peeps. So fade this through, rest it against the backstop there. And then you want to bring it to the six mil mark, which is there. Just there, like that. And that has promptly cut that. And then I'll spin it around the other way. 
and I'll be trimming this down a little bit to fit the sander. So then I'll have where my yellow tape is will be my cut line, which by powers of deduction isn't that far off, folks, is it? So we're going to have that like so. And then we'll get that stuck. And then once it's firmly adhered, I can then run my blade along the edge just to trim it if I need to. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Grab yourself a bit of your tape, like so. And I tend to feed it from where the Tamiya tape is to the end and trim it off the end that way. It's just my personal preference. So grab that on there, like so. Just rest it on the end there and then run your finger along just to get it to start sticking. Why that? It's that easy. And then spin it up the other way. And then I'll run my knife along the edge there. Like that. Let's do that on my cutting mat so I don't cut through my rubber one. There you go. We'll just put that to one side for a sec. And then just roll your finger along. Just get it to stick. Like that's so. And then you can peel it off. Everyone's a winner. And then just lift the paper. Put your blade underneath. And then just roll your paper off. Just like that. And that leaves the tape sitting beautifully on the stainless steel. And then grab your, your sanding strip, just like so. And again, however you choose to do it, I'm going to do it from the corner, right at the front there. Because I'm not too worried about it being uh, short at the end where my Tamiya tape is, because I'm going to be trimming this to fit. There you go. And that is now on there. And then just run your fingers along it, like so. If you've got yourself a sander, this is a 240 grit. So I write on the end of there a 240 in a bit of Byra, just to get that on there so that I know what it is when I pick it up. There you go. <sighs> Let's get a sharpie on there. Just so that I can see that a bit clearer. 240. There you go. It's good enough for me to see. Happy days. And then I'll just run my knife along there. Just to trim that nice and tight. To the edge. All the way along. Look at that, absolutely beautiful sanding stick. I'm well happy with that. Same this side, just run your knife along. All the way along now, just to trim that off. This is just me being fussy now. You might not have to do this on yours. I mean, I'm rushing this to get it filmed. But there you go. And that has given you a nice six mil sanding stick look at that and you know what this is perfect for i've got a mercedes just conveniently sat one side but straight away if i had some serious fettling to do with this there's a little bit round the head like there i can now get this in get this sanding stick in and get that rested i'll get that all shaped look at that absolutely beautiful and again, to clean it off, I've got my little, my little mat there that I can just rub the sander along. Clean. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? So I'm going to do the other side because why not? We've done one side, so we can't have, we can't have a naked sanding stick. So I'll do the other side as well for you so you can see that again. And this is going to be a 240. Same as what we did on the other side. I like to keep... Excuse me, like to keep the same grit on each sander, just so that if you do forget yourself and spin it round, 
if you've done a lighter grit, you haven't got a more coarse grit on the other side. So you don't over sand, you don't confuse yourself basically. So let's get another strip of that on there. And then we would have made then a nice 240 sanding strip. And again, you can do these as to whatever uh, your chosen grit of paper is that you need that particular day or on that particular sander. Like I say, I usually have a couple of coarse and then a couple of fine. So I'll have my heaviest grit, then the next grit down, and then I'll have my lightest grit and then the next one up. Just my own personal preference from days gone by. And uh, that works for me. So I can go super aggressive and then uh, next shade down. And then like I say, if I'm doing delicate touch up work, I can then get the other ones in there. So this is a straightforward process. It really is this easy, folks. Look at that, straight off, out of the way. And this is why I'm using the gold hand tape, because that's what it says on the tin peeps, doesn't it? Let's be honest. I'm getting out with the cutter, doing myself a rough six mil measurement, which for me is a rough measurement, because I can't particularly see what I'm doing. same on that end just put that to one side flip the guard down on that and do the same again work out exactly how long I want this which is going to be pretty much to where that is line it up on the end same as what we did before folks just rest that in there and then work your way along the sander. Just run your thumb along the edge there and it will start lining up. And then when you've got it where you want it, get rid of the hair. When you've got it where you want it, just lay it flat and then just run your fingers along it. And straight away you've got yourself another 240 grit sanding stick. And then again, for my own personal preference, I just run my knife along the edge there and I just trim off any excess stops it catching on the model basically when you're sanding it does for me anyway and again just use the edge of the sanding stick just to trim that off and there you go folks look at that so these are an absolute asset to you and these are the god end the sanding paper assortment and the God and stainless steel FF board. And this is the 6mm version, folks. There are other sizes, which you'll see in the upcoming videos. But this is for the 6mm one, folks. Okay? So grab yourself a set. Head over to eModels. Throw a set of these in your basket and a packet of the sandpaper. Get yourself a reel of tape. That is a massive reel of tape there for what you get. Probably mis you'd probably mistake the photograph for the size of a Tamiya tape. It isn't. It is that big. Look at that. <gasps> big hand. Big reel of tape. <sighs> now grab one of those. A set of sandpaper. A set of these bolts. And you won't go wrong. Because that is going to be one of the most useful useful tools in my armory. And again, when it, when it wears down, just peel it off. Put a new piece on. It's that simple. They'll clean off nicely. <laughs> Peel the tape off, comes off in, in one. Uh, run a little bit of alcohol just over the, the bowl just to clean any, any residue off if there is any. And then just reapply a new bit of tape and a new sheet and you're good to go. So there you go, folks. Now grab them in your basket. I'll see you on the next video, which is going to be the 10 mil size of these. So it'll be a similar process, cutting the tapes, but it'll be a 10 mil roll on them. Okay, folks? See you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. Oh, look at that.